Please watch this video so that I can give you a reminder on how to take this class and uh, just just uh, maybe I'll find some features you haven't noticed before or, or just to make it really clear about what I'm hoping uh, we can get out of it. So the, every day you'll just go to modules and uh, find the section you're working on by looking at your schedule, whatever schedule that is, the dates and, and what's due. So in any case, let's say we're on uh, do, 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 say this module here. Uh, every day you'll have a list of video homework to do and textbook homework to do and then a quiz. Uh, sometimes discussions as well and you'll see that as we go. But basically each day you'll be asked to click on a video press play on it and just write down the examples that you see on the video so this is just the equivalent of attending class this video we're going to multiply some monomials this is pay attending class and taking notes off of the board right now again you can go as fast as you like you can race the teacher and get the answers before I do and just uh, write them down but please do all of the questions in all of the videos um, because because I'll, I'll give you lots of points in it every uh, question in a video will be worth just as many points as a question from the textbook homework so just con con consider that the uh, questions in the videos are just like textbook homework right and so we're going to write down all on paper all of the um, examples from this video remember to put it in full screen so that you can see it clearly and then go on to the next video which will be here uh, just as a reminder don't uh, don't go to the my big database ba database of videos on uh, screencast.com because you'll get very confused I have uh, thousands of videos here so don't uh, when the video ends uh, don't go to the whole database because you know there'll be more videos in the list here and, and, and so not not here but the next video is 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 always on canvas with it with a link okay so you click on the next video and you play it, put it in full screen, and write down the examples from here. That right. Uh, once again, you can um, uh, w once again just just play the video, write down the examples on paper, and you can go faster than me if you want to. But just make sure you get all the questions done, right? So we do. So uh, so in any case, after the first video, we would do textbook homework questions five to twelve all out of the book and again check odd numbered answers in the back of the book and the even numbers are oftentimes checked on the quiz and then you click on this video write down the examples then do 7 to 20 17 to 24 all from the textbook homework then click on this video write down the examples and then do these homework questions and uh, that's it you don't do don't do homework questions that are not listed you I've got I've given you plenty to do uh, with this that that'll, that'll be enough and then you just click on the quiz and take the quiz right and so the quiz will help you to uh, check your answers okay and you can take the quizzes as many times as you like take them over and over to get higher scores so please uh, remember we have a homework sharing link for each section and um, it's it's basically extra credit there is a requirement each week just for one point to show how you did one homework question or to ask help for one question each week um, but you're welcome to share uh, much more than that if you like and um, I think the easiest thing to do is to just take a picture of your textbook homework and uh, click on reply and then on the bottom left you've got an attach button here where you can attach homework questions that you've taken a picture of in fact you can attach all of your you can you can share all of your textbook homework every day if you would like um, so but uh, w one thing I'll say is if you could if you could indicate what questions you're sharing like like um, questions uh, 30 to 47 or or whatever or I'm sharing question number 21 22 and 25 just indicate that that would be nice so that classmates can if they're looking for help on a specific question can see what link to click on to see see how a classmate might have done it so thank you
Now I just want to show you what I'm looking for from the written work. So just to give you an example of what my goal of the class is, my goal of the class is that you will um, write down all the video examples, do the textbook homework and write, write neatly, it doesn't have to be uh, perfect but um, the neater you are in math, the, the less mistakes you'll make, the more you'll enjoy it and the higher you'll score on the test because the problem with math is if you make one mistake um, the whole thing's wrong. So, in any case, um, I really appreciate it if you could, you know, print off the schedule, write your name on it. I've hidden the name here because of the video, but write your name on it. Uh, check the boxes to show me what you did or did not get done, and it makes it easier for me to search through. And then, and then, as we flip through this, um, you know, this student is. In, you don't need to use highlighter, but this is this is nice and this is neat, and I can clearly see. I can read everything and it's it, it's 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 written out neatly um, and then when we get to the so this is some uh, video examples and then we get to the textbook homework here I'm just looking for the write down the question number and then just do the question so question number do the question you don't have, have to actually write out what the, um, the 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 verbiage of the question in the textbook the actual sentences just question number and then and then the give, give show your work and give the answer right so this this looks uh, very good and uh, when I see work like this I go okay this student learned a lot they're going to pass all the tests and when they go to the next class they'll easily pass the next class and that's so this is the goal if I can get get you to produce this I've succeeded this is this is what it's all about here's another one here. Um, Again, make sure you write your name on it. Uh, check the boxes to show me what you got done, and um, and then when we have a look in here, okay. So we've got um, the student. You, you don't have to use different color pens. You, pencil is fine, but the point is, it's neat. I can see it clearly. Uh, every, you know, it's written out. And then when we get to the textbook homework. Um, Again, I'm just asking you to write the question, show some work, and then give the answer, right? Uh, so again, this uh, student, I'm confident that this student's going to pass the class, score fine on all the tests, and and and, and take and do well in the next class. And so here's another one here, um, and uh, so this this looks very good as well. And then when we get to the graphs, the student did actually find some graph paper and actually plotted the points and drew graphs. So if you have, have graphs to do in the class, please make sure to, if you could find some graph paper, that would be great. It really helps. Um, so there we go. So if you need help with anything, please uh, use discussions and ask for help and you'll get extra credit. Um, you're also welcome to, you'll also get extra credit for uh, helping a classmate on discussions. Uh, you're also welcome to call me anytime or drop me an email anytime. If you go to inbox, that's the easiest way to send me a message on inbox. And um, that's it. So yeah, two most important things about the class are number one, write down all the video examples and number two, ask for help when you need help. And to get help you go either go to discussions or give me a call or drop me an email. Uh, the students that do well are very chatty. They they call me a lot, they email me a lot and, and that's a good thing. So you don't want to be frustrated uh, with a homework question just go on to discussions and ask for help with it and then move on to the next homework question so that you're using your time productively and you're not wasting time on one or two questions if uh, a video doesn't work just go on to the next video and let me know about that and I'll fix it or just give me a phone call and I'll fix it right away if a quiz if you think the quiz graded something the wrong way just drop me an email about it and then move on or give me a phone call and then move on and so the the point is don't get frustrated when something goes wrong just uh, ask for help and then go on to the next thing and so that you're not wasting time you can always go back over uh, the previous quiz uh, uh, yesterday's quiz the next day or day or whatever so um, what else if you need computer help um, oftentimes a different browser works wonders so Mo Mozilla Firefox Firefox works well with Chrome as or, or uh, with Canvas as does Google Chrome Internet Explorer usually does not work very well with Canvas and uh, you're welcome to give me a call for computer help as well if you like and
and um, please also before you take a test please find the uh, please find the page called testing instructions so in every class is a page called testing instructions and please read about the rules sometimes you're allowed uh, are you allowed a calculator or, or not can you bring in a, a, a one page of notes maybe um, and and how do you schedule tests so if you're testing in Aberdeen um, we use a thing called register blast so you can click on that and schedule your test um, if you're testing in Raymond, you need to give them a call or email. If you're testing in El Waco, you need to give them a call or email. If you're testing somewhere else, you make different arrangements. Uh, let me know if you have any questions about testing. But if you're testing in uh, uh, um, Aberdeen, Raymond, or El Waco, they do like you to make an appointment. So please make sure to do that. And just please read the testing instructions page. I'd appreciate that if you could do that. And that's, that's it. Thank you.